This is Russell with Community Financials. In this video, Amanda Hilton from TOPS and I discuss how a community board can use TOPS 1 to track and print form letters for homeowner covenant conditions and restrictions, referred to as CCNRs, or rules violations. CCR, similar, activity feed, graphical breakdown, quick links to codes in your template letters. All the letters and templates are done through Microsoft Word, so um, any of your clients using this that would need to work on the templates would need Word 2013, 2016, or Office 365. The only caveat is that the Word integration requires one of those higher versions. Uh, but at that point, you can then take advantage of all the Word processing capabilities for logos and copy-paste and header footers. And you're a Tops Pro user, so you know very well that it's not like or did you guys were you on tops pro before or did you come straight from like uh, staff, that, staff that was on tops pro okay good so yeah there's some familiarity there um but yeah it's not the easiest to work with form letters in that system so it's much easier in here much more robust uh, but for violations you're just going to pick um, obviously search for your property or your owner here select your ccr code lawn's obviously a pretty common one going to pre-fill all of the detail from your covenants, conditions, and restrictions, voice to text if you want to add any more specifics, upload your pictures and any other supporting docs. Um, I know we're on CCR, but just as a reminder, you know, if this was on the work order page, this attachment gallery can not only be used for pictures of whatever needs to be done, but also any receipts or purchases or signed authorizations from the owners. Um, it's unlimited storage, so you can keep as much as you want here and not worry about it bogging down the system or you paying for more space or anything like that. Or it's anyway, online repository. Exactly. It's like your digital file cabinet. Um, and I think in a little demo I did a couple of weeks ago, I even mentioned that common problem is the secretary who might have all of the association's documents for all of time in a file cabinet in the basement and then trying to get your hands on that or when there's turnover it's just a nightmare so this gives you easy access especially if there is turnover and you know need to just get somebody new in there to access all that stuff and the owners have you know their access too because the portals for most of that so nobody's losing it after this they save the details and then do we get to preview the letter yeah so you would save and add new as many times as you need and then obviously the ccr tickets menu functions much like the work orders you'd put it in a list you'd sort it by your street address or your unit address <clears throat> the only difference on this one is, is instead of the email option you now have the select that's going to queue it up for the next action in the violation action table so for this one it's going to get a second warning this one is going to be a final warning with a 50 dollar fine Again, the dates show up in red because they're past due. And then when I'm ready to actually process those and apply any fines or send any letters, I'll go to take action. Um, or I could accrue them. So if, I don't know, if a manager does a drive and a board member wants to check it all out first, or if a manager has help from somebody else and they want to check on this stuff first, or, um, you or can use this. Member, yeah, board committee. exactly. Yeah. Or yeah, has to approve it. Yeah, or if you had like a compliance committee, you know what I mean, and a board liaison wanted to sign off. Um, it's just we want to give you the ability to do these drives and ha handle most of it while you're actually doing the drive and doing the inspection. But if you want some controls over what actually gets processed after the inspection, that's where this comes in. So you'll have this list of accrued violations. Um, and for each one, I could open up the actual CCNR record and look at the pictures or the detail of the owner and the property, any other history. And then this is very much like how the collections piece works. You'll have this little pencil out next to each line item. You can change the fee that's going to be applied, the letter that's going to be sent. Or if you decide you don't want any activity at all, you can click the X. And if you do want to put a reason for the change, you can. So a board member might know that this is his next door neighbor and God forbid, you know, her husband just left and she's got three kids and he wants to give her a break. You know, he might want to resend a friendly late notice reminder, but not apply any fees or take her out completely. Um, the ex will do that. Can we see what an actual printout would look like? Uh, yes. Let me see if, let me see. I'll take action on a few of these. Like dispatch. 
I'll do these two. Post batch. Yes. It's going to run. And it should give me a little tickler up here when it's done. So that if I wanted to let that go and open up another tab and keep working over here, I could. And while that runs, this is just a sample of a CCNR record. So they'd have the pictures here. And if for whatever reason you needed to navigate to the property, it's even got this integration with Google for navigation. Let's see if that ran for us. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in here. All right, here we go. But with your word integration, you could make these as fancy as you want with the community logos or whatever. Images, you can include I images. Just, um, in basic, basic and effective, and a lot of boards would be happy just to use them. <laughs> Maybe well, yeah, the merge codes make it a lot easier than anybody that doesn't have a system that does the merge codes and, like, populates all the owner and property detail and all that stuff. It's, I imagine it's a nightmare trying to do all those. So then a board member would print those out and then mail them, right? Yeah, and if you wanted to do them individually, right. you could print the whole batch. Or if you wanted an individual, like you would just – if you wanted just Heather Brasswell's, you would search for her or this property and the same letter. That's what I meant a little bit ago about it's all tied into the properties and the owners and the community. You do something in one spot, it's going to update it everywhere else too. So if I just wanted to take that one, I could, uh, and we can do this for the boards too. Well, we would uh, we would mail it out for them if they want us to do that. Yes, yes. And then you could reprint the individual ones or email them. Um, it's got options for all that. And with statements and stuff, too, there's actually, I mean, the options for opting in for email and stuff um, are going to grow. But right now, like especially with the statements, you could opt in an owner for email versus printed. So it would print one for everybody that wants to receive a hard copy, and it would queue up just an email for everybody that wants to receive them that way. So that will be expanded, too, to other pieces like this where if an owner, I mean, in some states, I don't know about you guys, but you have to print the hard copy letter. So You'd want to be yeah, cognizant of that, but you know, uh, I use health data, and if the email bounces back, then it automatically sends out a hard mail piece. Perfect. Um, reports. If you want to see like a CCNR report, because this is probably something that you'll be providing or that these board members will be pulling, um, and it kind of shows the on-screen interactive view too. So any other reports, if you use this section, you know, will show kind of on-screen. You can bounce around and do your research and make any changes you need before you actually print out the report or send it. Amanda, this has been terrific. It's been a great help. And I know a lot of this information is going to be well received by our clients and prospects to help make uh, overseeing their self-managed community easier. Perfect. Well, I'm glad I could help. Thanks a ton, Russell. Just let me know if there's anything else I can do for you.